In this video, we are going to see how to notify team on Slack on new inventory item creation in Shopify. So let's say you have Shopify as an e-commerce platform. Here, every time a new product is created as a new inventory item, then automatically your team which is sitting on Slack should be updated about the same through a message. Now, how can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Shopify and your action application would be slack now how can you do this yourself integrate and automate this entire process to understand that let me take you to my screen to begin with the process we are first going to type the URL pably.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software on the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free so if you are an existing user simply sign in if you are the new user click on this tab sign up it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks so now i'm going to click on sign in and as i do that here we have reached the all apps page let's click on access now for pably connect and as we do that here we have reached the dashboard of this application on the right hand side you can see a tab create workflow let's click on this and here a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is that every time a new inventory product item is created in Shopify then my team which is sitting on Slack should be notified. So here I am going to write notify team on Slack whenever a new inventory item is created in Shopify. Let's click on create. Now as soon as we do that here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one here is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. So in this particular integration our trigger application would be Shopify. Let's click on this. And as we do that here we have to select the trigger event this is the event that will make your workflow start so this here would be new inventory item so this workflow is going to trigger when a new inventory item is created in shopify now here on the right hand side you can see it is written that this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time basically this means that this application has got no polling time as soon as the workflow runs it is automatically going to share the response. Now here we have received a webhook URL. So this is going to act as a bridge for connecting Shopify with Pably Connect so that Pably Connect can have access to the information. Now I'm going to copy this and then we have to follow the following steps. So as we follow this, then the connection will be set up. So now I'm going to show you how we have to do this. So this is our Shopify account and I have already logged in over here. So first of all, we have to go to settings. As we go here, we have to go to notifications. Once we reach here, we have to scroll down and here you would be able to see create webhook. I'm going to click on this and now we have to first select the event. So what is our objective to create a new inventory item? So I'm going to go to inventory, inventory item creation. Now the format would be JSON. Here we have to paste the URL that we have received from Pably Connect. I'm going to copy this, go back to Shopify and paste this over here. Then the Webhook API version. So here it is written that choose the latest version from a Webhook API version drop down. So I'm going to click on this. This is the latest version. Let's click on save. And you can see that the webhook has been saved successfully. So once this is done, I'm going to take you back to Pably Connect. So what is it saying? It is saying that now log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So we are going to go back to Shopify and here we are going to create a new inventory item. So let's go to products and here I'm going to click on add product. So let's say that I want a Milton water bottle to be created here. So description would be it's a one liter water bottle thermosteel. Now I'm going to add a picture. So this is the picture. So once added the price, let's say this is 4,000 rupees and cost per item is again 1,000. Then we have the inventory. Now SKU is the stock keeping unit. So let's say it is MILT. This is the SKU. 
and then we have the quantity available basically inventory size so let's say we have got 10 pieces with us now if you want to mention the weight you can do that this is country region origin so you can mention that as well if you have got different sizes and colors you can check on this and then fill in the details then here we have got the product category so i'm going to write water bottle so yes here it is then the product type is again bottle right so once we have filled in this information i'm going to click on save and as soon as i do that here we can see that the product has been created taking you back to Pabli connect we have received the api response and here we have received the creation date then we have the sku and as i take you down here we have the inventory id and created time and this is the cost but we haven't received the product details now to fetch the product details i'm going to add this action application again here i'm going to select shopify let's click on this now the action event here would be to find product by sku let's click on connect now this sku that we had opted it is a specified name and it is unique for every product so that's why we can search a product by sku i'm going to go ahead with the existing connection here and now the sku name so i'm going to map the information here how do i do that as i click on this it is going to show me the previous step and this here is the sku so mapping means that i already have this information in the previous step and i'm just going to retrieve it so once this is done i'm going to click on save and send test request so here you can see that we have received this information why did we map the information here because if we had written this manually then every time the workflow would have run it would have only taken the manually written data it would have ne never inculcated the new data that is why mapping is important now let's see the api response that we have received here so this is our sku then this is the display name as i take you down this is the amount here we have the title so this is the description then we have the title and this is the inventory size and then we have the rest of the information basically once we have received this information my objective is to notify my team on slack so my next action application would be slack let's click on this and the action event here would be to send channel message let's click on connect here Babli Connect is asking to connect itself with a Slack account. For this, I'm going to select add new connection and then connect with Slack. And here we have to enter the token type. So it would be user. So every time when we are sending a message, it can contain some URLs or the images. That is why we use user as our token type. I'm going to click on save. And as I do that here, Pabli Connect is requesting permission to access the Pabli Slack workspace. So let's click on allow. And as soon as we do that, here we can see that the authorization has been successful. Now it is asking me to map the channel, message, etc. To understand this, first I'm going to take you to my Slack account. So this here is my Slack account and there are various workspaces. I have selected Pabli workspace. Then as I take you to my Slack account, here you can see that there are various channels already created. I have created a specific channel. The name is Shopify New Inventory. All you have to do is you can click on this plus icon, create a channel, add a few members and your channel is all ready. Now going back to Pabli Connect, let's select Shopify New Inventory. This is my channel. Now what is my message? The message is team, a new product has been added on Shopify now let's provide the details okay so first of all we have the name or the title of the product so I'm going to go to step 2 and here as I take you down so this is the title now the next thing that I need is the description okay so let's see the product description so here we have the description then I need the price of my product so here is the price and finally I need the inventory so what is it here it is 10 and now regards 
So this is the message that I wish to share with my team. Then we have the image URL, image alt text, bot name, bot icon, auto expand links, link usernames and channel names, reply broadcast, thread message ID. So you can map this information as well. And once this is done, let's click on save and send test request. And here we have received the message. This is the message that has been shared with my team on Slack. Now I'm going to show you what we have received here. Yes, you can see this is the message that we have received. This basically means that our integration process is a success. But we also need to check this in real. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to Shopify. Let's go to products once again, add another product. Let's say this time it's a cap. So it is a black, no, it's a pink sun cap, okay? And for women. Now the media, so I'm going to add a file here. This is the image. Once done, the price, let's say this is for 500 rupees. Cost per item is 500. Then we have the SKU, so I'm going to write cap only. And here the number of quantities available is, let's say it is 15. Then again, if you wish to add the origin and all, you can do that, the size and different styles. And once this is all done, I'm going to click on save. So as soon as uh, this new product has been created, what should happen automatically, I should be notified. My team should be notified on Slack. So let's check that. And yes, here you can see that a new message has been received. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. We can see that our integration process is a complete success. Taking you back to Pabli Connect, let's understand what we have done. So here our trigger application was Shopify, where the event was new inventory item. Our action application first was Shopify once again, where we had to find the product by SKU. And our final action application was Slack, where we had to send channel message. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubts, you can refer to the workflow, which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. If in case you wish to work on some specific integration, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.